there's a dramatic difference in the kind of quality that you're seeing with this product versus anything you've seen us show you or anything you've used in the past. Um, we have two cameras that we're talking about today. There's a desktop version called the Pro 9000 and the notebook version called the uh, Pro for Notebooks, Quick Hand Pro for Notebooks. And what's extraordinary about both of these products, everything that I'm going to describe between these two is exactly the same. It's just a form factor difference between the two. Uh, it starts out with the kind of image quality that you can see here, this, this clarity and detail that previously has not been achievable by anybody, including ourselves. And there's a couple of reasons why these products perform so well. The first is that we've signed an exclusive uh, partnership with uh, Carl Zeiss camera lenses, but now we've taken it to a whole new level in terms of our partnership with Carl Zeiss. So that's one of the key reasons why you're seeing this product perform as well as it does. Is that the first time that, car, you know, that we see Carl Zeiss uh, optics in a webcam? It is. It is. And it will be exclusive with Logitech. You won't see this from any other uh, companies. This is a long-term uh, relationship between our two companies. Uh, so it's something unique for us. Now the second thing about this product um, is this is the first camera from Logitech to include autofocus. Now you've seen autofocus in the past. You mentioned the eyesight, which is embedded. I don't know. Did you ever use the eyesight, which was the external one? Yes, and it, it has autofocus. It does have autofocus, and that's why I say this is the first one from Logitech. But the performance of this is very different. Um, it's very quick, and it's very fluid. One of the things that you are pictures that I took on my desk at work. These are, I printed these at Kinko's. Um, now, you've seen autofocus in the past. You mentioned the eyesight, which is embedded. I don't know, did you ever use the eyesight, which was the external one? Yes, and it, it has autofocus. It does have autofocus, and that's why I say this is the first one from Logitech. But the performance of this is very different. Um, it's very quick and it's very fluid. One of the things that you saw in the eyesight, this is actually a, a, a bottom center weighted system to uh, focus on sort of where your body would be. In the case of the eyesight, it was actually a, a, a different mechanical system and it was a two-step. So what you would see is if you put something close to it, you would actually hear it click. It would physically click. Yes. and it would move and then it would snap into near focus and then it would snap into far focus. With this uh, type of design, that's not what you see. You see how it's very fluid as it's moving in and out. So it's a very different technology. It's also very fast right. as it's responding, even in sort of moderate lighting. But you I'm really astounded, so I bring them with me now to show the kind of quality that you can get. We're really changing the level of performance. When people think of web cameras, they think of grainy pictures and they don't perform that well. Um, we're way beyond that now. In fact, we are, when we do uh, performance comparisons now, we can't even perform, we can't even perform that versus other webcam competitors. We are actually looking at ourselves against, for example, Sony has an HD uh, camcorder, and that's the kind of quality that we have to compare ourselves against because the other web cameras can't do anything like this from competitors. Um, and even last generation from Logitech um, aren't as good as this. So it's a totally different realm. So again, the, the three main uh, differences this year is the partnership I, that's but, taken by this camera on my desk at work. It wasn't like a, you know, we didn't hire anybody or anything like that. I just wanted to see what we get. We've never done anything like this in the past um, to show to people. And I was really astounded, so I bring them with me now to show the kind of quality that you can get. We're really changing the level of performance. Three main uh, differences this year is the partnership with Carl Zeiss, the autofocus system, and the two megapixel sensor. Okay. Now a couple of things to make sure you're aware of other capabilities that we have. The first is um, this is very advanced technology that is actually tracking up to uh, 28 plates uh, available for free download. And, I mean, in this case, it almost looks real. That's how good these things are. Yeah, it could, it could, yeah. <laughs> uh, we also have avatars, which are quite fun. These are full replacements. Now, these also move with you. He'll smile with you. No hands. No hands. And okay. no tongue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so these move with you. There's another one that's quite, uh, quite fun. This one actually um, 
will move as well. And with me, for whatever reason, his, his ears go up with my eyebrows, which is kind of fun. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we've had these for a couple of years, but they're very, very popular, quite difficult to produce them. Um, and we don't have an SDK to do it. So uh, we do keep that exclusive to Logitech. Okay. So video effects, uh, there's the face accessories, avatars, and the new pieces called fun filters. Now the fun filters is available on products from $39 and up now. Uh, these two cameras are priced at $99. Um, will move as well. And with me, for whatever reason, his, his ears go up with my eyebrows, which is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> now we've had these for a couple of years, but they're very, very popular um, and frequently something that the press likes to write about because they're so different and they're so compelling to see. Now what we've added new this year to the video effects lineup is what we're calling fun filters. These are full video overlays with different kinds of effects. So we're shipping with 10 different effects, and we'll be adding more uh, as, as time goes on. And like the, the other video effects, the avatars and face accessories, I was mentioning we add more. We have over uh, 250 different pieces of content available for download between the two. Okay. Can third parties uh, create video effects, or is it open? Or it is not open. Uh, okay. That's also a common question that we get. Um, but there are some uh, reasons why we need to keep it proprietary. It's actually quite difficult to produce them, um, and we don't have an SDK to do it. So uh, we do keep that exclusive to Logitech. Okay. So video effects. Uh, there's the face accessories, avatars, and the new pieces called fun filters. Mm -hmm. Now the fun filters is available on products from $39 and up now. Uh, these two cameras are priced at $99. We didn't know anything about it. And then we got a lot of calls like, who is this girl? Are you paying her? We're like, we don't know anything about this girl. Um, and so they're very popular for that. But we're hearing about other uses too. I have, it's called Video Snap. We don't talk about it a lot, but it's a partnership with eBay. And what it allows you to do is directly post a video work if you're using Skype or MSN or Yahoo. So somebody on Skype will see me with the glasses. Exactly, the exactly. Glasses. So you can use it in, in real time that way, or you can use it to um, record or take photos locally too. What they want to see, they're like, you know, be the dragon, be the dragon. <laughs> it's very funny. So there's certainly the YouTube crowd, but there's, there's other fun aspects of it too, which make it really, really popular. I, do you make any tools available to actually make it even simpler to maybe uh, upload it to YouTube or to other uh, video, uh, online video um, sites? We don't have anything directly with uh, YouTube right now. Very thin piece, mm -hmm. and other uh, notebook webcams can't work on it. So this is designed to be universal. But it's still just for notebooks. It won't work on a flat panel. So. If you have a, a flat panel CRT or you're going to use it on a desk, then you would need to use this design. Okay. But still, you, it's still possible to use that um, It is. On the We've made it possible on the laptop. And what we find is, a, a, in fact, all of our clips on all of our desktop cameras will work on either. We design them that way because we find a lot of multi-PC households need that usage. Um, and I'm that way. I have a desktop one that I use at home in this scenario. But when I travel, I bring it with me to use on my notebook. So uh, we make them that way. Now the other thing about these, um, if you're interested when we send you a sample, you'll see we ship this with a eight inch desktop stand as well as a travel case. So it's possible to use it in a design like this, but you would have to put it on the stand and you'd leave the stand and you'd take it with you. Okay. So we make them pretty versatile. Okay. okay. So again, both of these products are uh, the 28. We design them that way because we find a lot of multi-PC households need that usage. Um, and I'm that way. I have a desktop one that I use at home in this scenario. But when I travel, I bring it with me to use on my notebook. So uh, we make them that way. Now the other thing about these, um, if you're interested when we send you a sample, you'll see we ship this with a 8-inch desktop stand as well as a travel case. So it's possible to use it in a design like this, but you would have to put it on the stand and you'd leave the stand and you would take it with you. 
So we make them pretty versatile.